Hi, welcome to my small workshop. In my previous video I did a review on the MiG 200 D3 welder. I just recently bought on eBay. I had some problems with welding aluminium. The resistance in the wire liner caused the soft aluminium wire to make bird's nests in the machine. So I decided to replace the wire liner with one made of Teflon. I bought this one on eBay from a seller in the UK. It's a very simple operation. I start by dismantling the MIG gun. Maybe this isn't always necessary, but it can be a little troublesome to get the new wire liner through the fitting in the end of the hose if it's still inside the handle. I put out the hose as straight as possible on the floor and unscrew the lock nut. And then I just simply pull out the old liner. I'm feeding in the new wire liner, making sure that the hose is still as straight as possible to minimize the resistance. I use a small piece of welding wire to support the Teflon liner when pushing it through the hose fitting in the other end. I'm locking the new liner in position with the compression fitting and the lock nut. And I reassembly the MIG gun. I trim off the excess wire liner in both ends. And in this end I countersink it a little bit to ease the feeding of wire. I'm gonna try it out. Before I could only use the 0.8mm wire, but now I'm loading the machine with a 1mm aluminium wire. I'm gonna try it out here on two pieces of 5mm aluminium. It works great, way better than before. As long as I stick to the spray mic method with fairly high voltage and low wire feed speed, it doesn't cause me any problems. But the wire still curls up inside the machine if I get a burn bag and it gets stuck to the contact tip. This happens all the time when I'm welding thin materials with low voltage. So here we are, some of the welds I made while testing out this new modification with the new wire liner. Now I would say that the machine is actually useful for welding aluminium. It is still not perfect, especially when welding thin materials, one must expect to spend some time sorting out the wire when it curls up in the machine and makes bird nests. But it's definitely way better than before.
My next project is to modify the welder for use with the spool gun. So I'll make a video about that soon, if it works. So if you think that sounds interesting, stay tuned. And for now, thank you for watching.